Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Message. This is your daily reading for tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, February 15th, 2022 for all signs. All signs that may be watching. And this is a reading for the collective, so of course it may not resonate with you specifically. As I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please do come get a personal private tarot reading from either me or your favorite tarot reader out there. Uh, for those of you who would like to book a reading, um, you can just click below in the description box below this video, find my website scheduling page down there, or click up in the right hand corner, click the eye in the sky, that will take you to my scheduling page. For your reading today, guys, we're using the uh, Tarot Mooka deck here, and uh, this is a Low Scarabeo deck, so that he's also the author and publisher of this deck. For those of you who are interested, just go to www.loscarabeo.com or info at loscarabeo.com. Um, we'll also be pulling message from the uh, guidance message from the Star Codes Astro Oracle by Heather Rowan Robbins, artwork by Lucas Lua D'Souza. All right, at the end of the reading, we'll be pulling one of those messages. So hopefully that sounds good. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for the collective tomorrow. Spirit, what do you want to tell everyone? What are the most important messages and energies you want to share with my viewers for tomorrow, Tuesday, February 15th, 2022? Second to last reading in the series. Let's see. What's going on for the collective tomorrow? All three cards coming out. It must be my lucky day. We have the sun, the six of cups, and the star. Beautiful. We do have the sun and Mercury now in Aquarius. Looks like we have some Scorpio energy coming through here. Uh, someone's birthday may be tomorrow if you are an Aquarius uh, born on February the 15th. Happy birthday. I do see someone here as their solar return tomorrow that could be watching. Strength card underneath that. Uh, we do have the moon in Leo tomorrow as well. Uh, moon opposite sun in Aquarius. Someone could have their sun in Aquarius and their moon in Leo as well. So, off to a good start here. The cards are very responsive, very responsive today. Well, the sun indicates happiness here, having a breakthrough, seeing things clearly. Um, uh, things are moving forward for the collective, okay? We, we are having our breakthrough moments. Uh, this is, uh, you know, Aquarian's time to shine. So let's give Aquarius their props and... Uh, Wish them all a happy birthday. Um, uh, this month, for those February born Aquarius is out there. Also, something coming up with the inner child. Children may be of importance. Your inner child. Discovering your inner child. Letting uh, the fun out. Um, being playful. Full of life. There's also, this is like a freeing energy as well. Also, someone here could be an Aquarius rising. I'm seeing that as well. Tomorrow's a good day to do something nice for someone just because. For example, uh, spend time with your children if you have children. If you, uh, maybe you have nieces and nephews, cousins or something like that. Um, this guy's doing something nice just out of the generosity of his heart. So volunteer work as well. Uh, going places that make you feel comfortable at home, maybe revisiting a childhood home or childhood friend. Uh, this could also indicate a past life soulmate relationship here. These energies are quite beautiful. We have the star, which is your card, Aquarius. Uh, I'm speaking to it. I'm sure there's an Aquarius out there I'm speaking to. Uh, this is your card. So, hopes and wishes, aspirations, now they are within grasp. Um, the star, the star card. Uh, healing, healing is available here. The star, the sun and the star, uh, both stars right so it's a very starry-eyed time of year um people have stars in their eyes people have wishes uh hopes dreams uh, but we also have the scorpio energy here which is pulling us back to the past the way things used to be uh perhaps we have fond memories here and we're looking to 
find something that reminds us of a particular time in our life. Aspirations, right? Aspirational time to be alive. A lot of celestial uh, energetic healing here. Also something in the morning and something at night. It's like your day starts when the sun comes up. Uh, you have a pleasant day in the afternoon. I definitely feel like um, yeah, you just really can't go wrong with this energy. We have the, the strength card underneath that. Okay, so compassion here, care, uh, spending time with animals, very healing. Uh, if you have a cat or a dog here, uh, make sure you give them a good cuddle. Aquarians are uh, uh, extremely being known for being humanitarians. I can speak for myself, but also on behalf of the Aquarians that I do know. Uh, very, very good with animals. Uh, some of the most biggest advocates of animals out there are Aquarians. So um, maybe also along with volunteer work, volunteering with animals or an animal shelter, fostering an animal, a dog or a cat here. Um, but uh, very cuddly. They're very cuddly. <laughs> the animals and the Aquarians are both very cuddly. So what can I say? We don't have much to worry about here. Uh, things are looking up uh, in the sky as well. And the stars are shining bright uh, for the most part is what I can see, is what I can tell you. So let's go ahead and, um, man, can all the readings just be positive like this? It'd be nice. Let's see, let's pull an oracle message here for tomorrow, for the collective. What do you want to tell us, spirit? Solar flares activate. So there is something being activated tomorrow here. Something is possibly flaring up here. Hmm. Geomagnet geomagnetic storms. Uh, might be a good day to go see the Aurora or Alice. I don't know. Uh, maybe there are some real solar flare flares going on here. Let's read the card. Solar flare fla flares, flares, flares. Is this card 17 too? Mm. Number 17. So the star, really important here. The sun, very important coming through. The sun's surface is always roiling. A flare can flash brightly on the surface or become a coronal mass ejection, many times the size of the earth that shoots out charged particles. When these particles head toward earth, not only are our electronics disrupted, but also our politics heat up as we question old systems and grow hungry for new answers. The volume turns up on all astrological activity. High peaks of solar activity were recorded around the French Revolution, the American Revolution, and during the mid-1960s, times when people fought the status quo and sought revolutionary change. Action. Change is in the air. A flare of energy supports your work. The mood is restless, sparky, revolutionary and curious. People are hungry for change. It's not the time to be quiet, but to be fast on your feet. Solar flares magnify the energy on any other cards you pull. Well, we have the sun here and the star, so activation on the Leo Aquarius axis here, Scorpio axis, strong Leo activation as well. Okay. When the sun is storming, our social and political world activates. Revolutionary change manifests. And trees grow faster in the forest. Aim carefully because a solar flare brings momentum. Not thoughtfulness that you have to provide. A calm metaphysical perspective may not be easy, 
but you can bring that in to create balance and longevity. What you build during a solar flare may be hot and fervent, but not necessarily long lived. To turn an idea or a love affair into something permanent like a business plan or a partnership will take conscious effort. Challenge. Tempers flare along with the sun. You can scorch yourself with too much passionate action and not enough emotional sensitivity if you are not mindful. That's why we have the strength card here as a reminder to always balance your passion with compassion. Yes, uh, integrity here, gentleness of spirit. Uh, this is pulling the ego back here and putting the ego to work for us. Uh, like I said, you can channel this energy into ways of helping, caring for, even if it's uh, you want to activate change in your life, that's great. Uh, you want to cause a revolution, that's great. But uh, I don't think that we have to be violent. I don't think that violence is the answer. Um, that's just my opinion, though. Other people may disagree. Okay. Yeah, so with you want to uh, you don't want to scorch yourself with too much passionate action and not enough emotional sensitivity if you are not mindful. Gift. The sun is sending extra voltage and inspiration your way. So use it wisely. Feel the heat in the situation, the passion in the people involved, then balance that fire by adding water's compassion. The thoughtfulness of air and the logistics of earth to turn that inspiration into reality right because we have the star here inspiration aspiration whatever you want to call it um very passionate times very activating times uh also dreams and wishes here hopes and wishes being activated people are ready to make the changes that they seek in the world so that is the reading I have for you guys tomorrow. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys back tomorrow for another daily message. Take care.